G'day guys, welcome back to a grocery haul. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I save 5% every single time I do my Woolworths grocery haul, as well as a couple of tips for using Woolworths online. But I'm gonna start off with a haul because I know some of you watch from overseas, so I'll start with that first, and then I'll get into the specific tips for Woolworths online later. This is not sponsored, I just wanna share with you what I do. Let's do it. So like I said, we're back to doing online deliveries, and I thought I'd show you what the tax invoice is if you haven't seen one before. So the Woolies one's really good. What I do like about it is that it just has your um, invoice number and the transit code. Whereas when I used to order from Coles, it had some personal details. I think it had my email address. Whereas I love this, all I've done is put a Sharpie through it so you can't see the code. So it's great. It's broken up into different categories. So if you can see there's biscuits and snacks, breakfast foods, canned and packet food, condiments, and so on. And then you can choose whether you get substitutions or not. I chose a substitution, but I'm regretting it to be honest. Um, so I wanted the Woolworths Country Loaf Whole Grain, which is 850 grams, and that cost $2.70. Well, they substituted for a Woolworths Country Loaf Whole Meal. Now, for me, that's not really a substitution. I would have expected another whole grain from a different company, um, not the Woolworths one, whereas they've stuck with Woolworths and given me the whole meal. So I'm gonna have to remember that for next time and just not do a substitution when it comes to our bread. I'll go into the ordering a bit more detail afterwards, but just so you know here, so it talks about the reusable bags, the delivery fee, well, we're on the annual fee, so we don't get that charged every time. And then I pay by gift card, um, and then they tell you the refund amount. To get that refund amount, they would have sent me a code on my email address, so I'll have to put that in next time before I order. All right, let's get into the haul. Any questions, write them in the comments below. I'll try and get back to you. So it was $129, and then we got refunded $3. So I bought another milk. We've run out of milk, so we've been using our long life milk from the pantry, so I'll definitely have to order some more of that because we've ended up using three liters between shops. Then we got some shortcut bacon. My three-year-old is so excited to have bacon. Um, we like having bacon and eggs in the pie maker um, and we didn't have any bacon left completely out. I like to freeze some of it. So I'll roll it up and freeze some of it and then put some in the fridge. Anyway, we were completely out. So this morning we had some ham and egg and it just wasn't that filling. She kept saying how she was hungry. Um, and then toast wise, like I talked about, this is the two whole meals. We like the country grains and I think at $2.70, it's a fantastic price. I'm doing slow cooked beef stroganoff. It's one of um, Beck from Frugal Family of Six, one of her recipes. Um, so I got the sour cream for that. Unfortunately, I put the order into the computer, but I didn't check out for like a day. And so the button mushrooms went from my cart they ran out of them they don't have them in stock anymore so i don't have those here so i am gonna have to go to a green grocer and get a few things because there's a few other things missing as well continuing on so some corn cobs for my kids they love eating them off the cob brussels sprouts i like doing them in the oven my one-year-old enjoys them the most and i just keep telling myself they're a nutty flavor then we've got some cheese and some mozzie cheese as well. I grabbed the already shredded. Um, and then we've got some thigh fillets. Dave's gonna be doing some chicken rolls, so that's why we've got that. And then I got the Chuck Slow Cook Steak. So this is $14 a kilo, so it worked out to be $8.50 um, for 600 grams. So that's for the beef strog. Then I got some rinse aid, the um, washing machine, the washing machine. <laughs> the dishwasher hasn't really been doing that well. The dishes are coming out dirty. Unfortunately, I feel like it's dishwashing tablets. I've tried a few different settings and sometimes it's okay. Um, I bought a stack of the Shine dishwashing tablets and I won't be getting them again. Um, so I hope the rinse aid's better. In the meantime, I've just been using um, vinegar because we've been out of that. So hopefully that's good. I grabbed these veg crisps the yellow sweet potato um, they're on special and they come under health food so that's a win <laughs> then I've got some jalapenos for Dave he's gonna have that with his um, baguettes the chicken baguettes 
I couldn't get them. So that was another problem that I had with the Woolworths this time. I thought, and I have to double check, I thought if you were getting stuff from the bakery, like bread rolls and stuff like that, you had to order after three o'clock. But I tried that window and it didn't work. It still said I couldn't get those rolls. So I went back to the two till seven o'clock one. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, I don't know if there's been a change. I'll have to look into that. Uh, then we got some more Ritz crackers. We like to have these with hummus. And then, oh, this is my favorite bit. So I got five of these. These are my coffees. When I have these, they're basically milk, nearly three quarters milk. <laughs> I just love them. I probably haven't had them for nearly two months, I reckon. Like we ran out and I have a rule that I only get them when they're 50% off. So these were $3.15 for 10. So I bought five of them. There's no way I'm paying $6.30 for 10. The other meal Dave's doing this week is the eggplant boats, which I've shared in a what's for dinner recipe video before. So I'll link that down below if you want to check that out. It's delicious. He said as part of the meal plan, he's actually trying to do one vegetarian meal a week. So that's going to be our vegetarian meal this week. I love it. It's delicious. It's a bit of work to do it though, but it is delicious. Um, so fresh coriander, what we couldn't get was basil or oregano. They were both out. Then we got some Lebanese cucumbers. I didn't expect to get this many. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But anyway, it was the cheaper option. I think that's probably why I chose it. I expected to get like two, but we've got that amount. So it looks like we'll be having cucumber snacks. Then I grabbed some of these puree pouches. They're just so simple and easy. They're on special at the moment for 40 cents each. So three for $1.20, I thought that was awesome. Then grab some bananas um, and then the pink lady apples. We've been trying to have apples as a snack as well. And if you've been watching my declutter and organizing videos, I love the containers they come in. So I use that for organization around the house. And then we've got some oak leaf lettuce. This one looks really good. Then at the back, we were all out of tea bags. So we've got some Tetley tea cups. And I had to really make sure I got the right one. And I have, because um, you know, sometimes you can get the circle ones that just don't have the string and they just sit in the teacup. And I was concerned with teacup that that could be the case. But having seen that picture online, which I fully checked, they should be great. Vita Brits, my son has two Wheaties, sometimes three for brekkie in the morning. So that's what he has. Then I grabbed some big red tomato soup, um, salt reduced, that was on special. I like to put that in my spag bowl. Got the baby corn spears for fried rice, as well as the mushrooms, and then we got the egg mayonnaise. So all up, there's the haul for under 130. Like I said, we've got to get a few things. We've got to get the baguettes, and we also need to grab some herbs. Okay, the part you've probably been waiting for is how I save 5% every single time, and it's by buying gift cards. So I use this website, Cash Rewards. It's free, I've signed up to it. I type in Woolworths, gift cards come up, you need to make sure you get the gift cards, and then it's 5% off. And then what happens here is I click on here, and then I go to buy it. It's already got a lot of my details in there, so um, you're not gonna see that. <laughs> my login details there so I've had to cut that page off and then it'll come through to gift cards and then you purchase so I just do this as part of my process I get 500 each time and then to pay for it I use a credit card I can't use PayPal um, and then it emails it to my address so there we go I buy a $500 gift card for $475 so that's how I do that every single time I've purchased the Woolworths Delivery Unlimited, which means that any day I can get my groceries. If you've been around here for a while, you know that we were Aldi shoppers and I tended to do Coles click and collect. I got into Coles because they kept sending me those, you know, spend so much for four weeks and you get this much money back. So that's why we're big Coles shoppers. I decided to go with Woolworths because it had a few items that Coles didn't have. It's probably changed now. Um, but I will say one thing right here that I think is better with Coles is when I go to purchase something, if they need to refund me, Woolworths will send the code to my email address. Whereas when I was with Coles and I got like a broken egg in the egg carton, they just refunded it straight away. I spoke to someone on the phone and they refunded it. So that was a while ago, whereas Woolworths is all online. We've paid for the annual subscription $169. We got the first month free to try it out. And then with this pandemic, 
it was closed for a while. So I think we've got three months added to our program. And we went with that one because any day we can order it, there's just a minimum of $100 spent. We worked out on a $12 delivery. All we need to do is get 14 and we've got our money back. As you can see, we've already done 13. We've been doing this since the start of the year. So it is so worthwhile and it doesn't actually matter. You can get multiple orders a week. There's no limit in how many you order. You just need to spend over a hundred each time. So once you've set it up, I actually find it really easy to navigate. So they store all your past shops. So if you do a meal plan and you rotate the same kind of meals every few months, then you could go back and click on that as an easy option to get the items you need. The one I like to do, I've created a list that is for our essentials, um, just with the bread, milk, eggs, they're our essentials. And then I've also got a list for specials, which are items that I only buy when they're on special. Got the low fat yogurt that we like to buy. And then my coffees there, I buy them when they're 50% off. So they've got to be $3.15 for me to buy them. Um, and then Rivetas and Vita Wheats. So these are the items that I only get when they're on special. And you know what? I really should add Dave's coffee there. <laughs> he really likes Robert Tim's. So here I am typing it in here. That packaging looks different to the one we've got in the pantry. Let me just see if there's another option. Nope, that must be about it. So underneath, from, so there's the add to the cart if I wanted to do my shopping trolley now, or I can add to a list. So I'll put it there in specials. So this is a great way to do it, but I also go through the catalog each time. So I'll click on the catalog up here. And what I really like about it is you just press on the item you want and you can just add it to your cart. So it's just like the paper form. It's all there. What I have noticed though is when they do these recipes, um, I can't find any this time. But last time I was looking at this, they had a dumpling recipe and it just had four ingredients. It looked really good. Um, and when I went to click on them to get it, they were unavailable. Because they're in the catalog, everyone else is getting them. So that can be a bit tricky. So if I click on this recipe here, um, there it is in details. And then underneath is shop the recipe. As you can see, there's items still missing, but that's a great price for Hass Avocado. So I'll buy one of those. And as you can see up here, it's changed to $17. The avocados are $2, but they put your delivery fee in. So they put $15 for the delivery fee. And when I get over a hundred dollars spend, so when it is just 115, but I never see 115, it goes down to a hundred. So that's something to be aware of. You think, how am I spending so much? And then once you've spent over $100 on items, then it takes the $15 or $12 delivery off. All right, I wanted to share you this. So if you have a problem with your order, just go right down to the bottom of the page, click contact us, and then Woolworths Online and Olive pops up. She's really friendly. What you can't see here is she says hello and then she gives you options. So you just click on them. So there was a problem with my order and then I clicked on which order was the problem and then what item was the problem. And then I just click on that they were damaged and she says, no worries, we'll sort it out and we'll send you the refund coupon. So that goes to my email address. So I have to put that in the promo codes as I'm checking out. If you want to see more, let me know. I'll just have to blur out my address and credit card details and all that kind of stuff. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. I'm grateful for the money I've saved and also the time as well. Thanks heaps for watching. Bye.